This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Today you will learn how to create this amazing underwater dragon skeleton photo manipulation that you can see here on the screen. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Neymanya and welcome to another really fun photo manipulation tutorial. Yes, I'm finally back in the front of the camera after that drone accident that I had a few weeks ago. In case you didn't hear about that, you can check one of previous videos and you will know what it's all about. For you guys who follow the situation, the wound healed pretty nicely. I have some small scars, but nothing special, so everything went great. I was really, really lucky. Now let's leave that aside and concentrate on to today's tutorial, Underwater Dragon Skeleton Effect. It's pretty easy to create, it's really awesome and you can do anything that you like using the same techniques that to put something underwater. You will see all the assets, all the stock images that I will use today are from Envato Elements, today's sponsor. So in case you didn't hear about Envato Elements, they're amazing, a big website. You can find all the assets that you need for basically any project that you are creating. They have millions of stock photos, stock videos, music, sound effects, they have Photoshop, brushes and actions, they have After Effects and Premiere Pro templates like intros and outros and much more that you can use in your videos. Also a lot of transitions, etc. Also one amazing thing that I really like about Envato Elements that is that they have a bunch of 3D files so you can use them in any orientation, any position that you need for your project and today we will use several of 3D elements from there. You will see that in the episode and they're pretty affordable. So the annual plan is 16.5 dollars per month which is pretty reasonable price because you're getting unlimited downloads but if you want to go just with a monthly plan to try it for one two three months then the price is double so i always recommend to go with the annual plan it's half the price if you want to check it out check out the links down there in the description and go and subscribe to envato elements you can use unlimited resources there i really love them and use them a lot so now let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Right guys, we are here in Photoshop and as I already said, all the photos are from Envato Elements except this one. This is actually my own photo that I took with a drone two years ago when I was with my friends on vacation. So as you can see, both and few of my friends and we are having a lot of fun here, but I will use it uh, for this photo manipulation just because I want to be in that photo and have fun with that. Otherwise, I, I could take some of other photos or 3D elements of the boat and use it in my photo manipulation. So I need a clean plate of a sea without boat and to extract the boat out of the background so to be able to move it. So I already did that, but I will show you how I did it. So I will use, uh, let's, let's see, let's use the object selection. So I can draw a rectangle here and basically Photoshop will calculate everything for me and it will probably select just the boat. Yeah, that's amazing. I will use now quick selection tool and let's zoom this and let's make the brush a little bit bigger. And now I can refine the address here and there. What is needed to be refined as you can see. And then I can just extract this out of background by pressing control or command J. And now you will see I have it on a separate layer and I can put anywhere I want. I can make it bigger or smaller and this is it. So I already did this here. So I have a boat already extracted. And now what I like to do with the rest of the uh, this image is just to select a little bit more than I need it. And I will press shift and backspace and go to fill option. I will choose content aware, press OK, and you will see Photoshop will again fill this for me. And I have a blank empty plate of, of the C, just that. Right, so I already have that. It's a little bit different because every time Photoshop do a different thing but I like both of these versions, it doesn't matter, let's let's use this one. Okay, I will delete that and this is it. I have a boat, I have water or sea, however we want to call it and this is basically it. Inside the boat I did one modification because I didn't like how the boat looks, it's too white for this situation, so I just put a wooden boards here, I just used the file of the wooden boards, put it over the top of the board, put it in multiply blending mode. This is just the file, right? And uh, just use the layer mask. As you can see, I mask out a few things. Okay, so now I see. I have a mistake here. So I just masked the things that I needed and this is it, this is how it looks. So 
really easy, really simple, but I didn't want to waste your time watching me doing this right now. Okay, so we have a boat, we have water. Now let's put the skeleton in the scene. Okay, this is the skeleton. This is the part of the skeleton that I will use. And I will, I can use any view that I need for this, but I need a top view so you can see. Uh, I will use this view. This is really cool because this position here, it's uh, giving me easier opportunity to delete the legs and the arms. But then I don't like the position of the head. So the head is a little bit tilted. I want straight top view. So for that, I downloaded another version. This one where I can see the head straight up. But now it's a little bit harder for me to delete the legs. So I just downloaded two different versions. All right, so I will go with this one and go right there and put it inside here. So let me show you really quickly. I have a PSD file of that. I can download PNG or PSD file. With the PSD file, I have the shadows and everything here, as you can see. And I will just use this without shadows. So let's go here. Paste it. Let's see. Right there. Both needs to be at the top. And I will press Control or Command T. Make this much bigger. Rotate. And wait. Before that, what I like to do is just right click and... Now create a layer mask, use a brush, a little bit harder brush, something around 80%, black, 100% opacity, and I just want to delete this. So first that. After that, I will make it bigger and I will repose it. I want a little bit different pose of the skeleton. And for that, I will use an awesome tool. You're probably guessing what I will use. Yes, it's Puppet Warp tool and with that we can do whatever we want with the position of the skeleton. In case you're not familiar with the Puppet Warp tool, because I will not explain it now, I already have a full tutorial dedicated on that. You can check it out on the link right there. Right now let's go Control or Command T, rotate, make it bigger. I want this to be really big because like it's a really, really big dragon. And I will put it somewhere here. And for now, I will press enter. Also, what I don't like here, as I already said, is the head. So I will go right there and let's say I just want to delete this. Okay, take off the head. That's pretty okay. So now that I have that, I can right click and rasterize layer because when it's in smart layer, I cannot use Puppet Warp. So now I can use it. And also, yeah, I don't need the mask so I can Right click and apply layer mask. Now we have dragon skeleton, but this is just one part. Okay, now we can go to edit, puppet warp, and uh, here we can play some pins. So one is here and expand this a little bit. If you watch my tutorial about that, you will know what is what are these options for. So one here, maybe, maybe, maybe one here. Let's see. And now we can play with this. We can go and rotate however we want. We can go like do 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 do. Let's dance. All right, a little bit here, a little bit there, and let's move the tail. Like it's a happy dead animal. Like a dog, you know. Like it's moving. Forget about that. Okay, so I want something like this. Maybe a little bit curve here and there and maybe to rotate this something like that and this looks pretty decent mm, maybe i will put one pin here rotate this even more maybe erase this one and put one here and then let's see yeah this this looks decent okay and i will press okay right there and this is it i can make it maybe even bigger but I will see when I when I put a hat here. But now look what I noticed, guys. I don't know if you know this already, but this draw my attention here. We have a skeleton in the water already, so like a skull. So this is like like distorted face. We have the eyes, we have the nose. See, like the skull here, huh? or this is just me. I'm seeing this, but I really see this. Let me know down there in the comments. Do you notice the skull right here from the shapes? All right, now let's go and uh, take another skeleton. And from this one, I will just take a head with a lasso tool, L, 
on a keyboard for lasso tool and I will copy this oops I don't need this file and I'll paste it right there and this is it perfect like really really tiny small hat but we don't want that of course we want to make it bigger so dragon skeleton this is hat and controller command T make everything bigger put it here and the beauty of this is that we can look left look right cannot look up and down but, but we can look like that right and let's let's leave it like there let's say this is perfect I want to be like this and now what we missing here what we are missing here are some bones because we want to have something like like wings something like you know the dragon wing and we cannot see them here but something like this looks cool and for this I'll go and use few other bones so I'll bring all of them right here and let's see let's go with the biggest one which one is this is the biggest one control or command T I will rotate it make it smaller put it here and I will fast forward this I will just reposition them nothing special so I will just reposition them in this matter of this sketch that I made so let's do it Alright guys, so this is it. I will group all of them. Control or Command E. And these are bones. Okay, and I will add hue and saturation adjustment layer to these bones and go to colorize. And I will just pick the similar color like the rest of the skeleton. So this looks pretty decent. And now I can actually put all of the bones below the dragon here. Okay, like that and I can select everything here all of these and press control or command E and now I have just one one big skeleton this is pretty decent so okay for now I will leave it like that this is dragon skeleton this is water and now is the time to submerge this skeleton underwater so now it looks like like it's floating above the water because this is how it looks it doesn't have that color and water caustics and all the other things and there are so many ways how we can submerge this we can just put this into multiple blending mode and this is it it's underwater but mm, I don't like it too much we will do the similar effect but a little bit better uh, another way is to just lower the opacity but it's too white still I don't like it so how I would do it is to go and choose another file so I will go with another photo a photo of the water here go with the lasso tool select this guy I don't need it shift backspace and this is it so I will now copy this and close it and this is it control or command T and I will make it bigger like to put it all over the dragon clip it to effect only the dragon and now this is much better as you can see this is so real that looks like crap but if we put now this texture into multiple blending mode this is much better we are not there yet but it's much more visible than if we just use the dragon in the multiple blending mode see so this is really neat trick but now what we can do we can go with hue and saturation adjustment layer clip it to affect this and we can change the color we can change the brightness we can change everything so it can be darker it can be brighter we will use some curves to to make it brighter and darker in certain parts so something like this is cool also I want to go to the water and use hue and saturation adjustment layer and just make water a little bit more green and uh, this looks really nice so let's go back here decent yeah this is decent all right so now we, what we can do uh, we need to make first the shadow beneath the skeleton because we want to make that impression that is actually laying down at the bottom of the sea and also we need to dodge and burn it to add more true dimensionality to uh, the skeleton itself let's say that the main light source let's let's go like this the main light source is coming from this direction so this part needs to be brighter 
this part needs to be darker also the bones darker darker brighter brighter same here and also the top will be brighter than the bottom here and so on and so forth so also this part will be a little bit darker than this part and you got a point so uh, for that I will use classical dodge and burn effect using dodge and burn method using the curves adjustment layer if you're not familiar with dodging and burning check out my tutorial on the link right there right so uh, now what I like to do first is to go to the water and actually let's go and clean up this a little bit this is control command G this is dragon let's, let's name it dragon skeleton okay this is background okay and we have a boat so here inside the dragon we can go all the way down and create exposure adjustment layer put it down below and now we can make everything darker so we want to add shadow below below the dragon i will go control or command i to invert this and just using really soft brush and uh, white color this is what i will do so you you see now it's much better but for this we need to invest a little bit more time. I will use 10 or 20% opacity brushes and I will just paint it. And I will fast forward this. So I'm basically just painting, revealing that darker part of the ocean down below, painting the shadow down below. So everything where you think that will be darker, where the shadow will be, you need to put it. Okay, so I will fast forward this part and come back shortly. Right guys, so this is how it looks. As you can see, this is before, this is after. Obviously a big change, big difference. And with this shadow, we managed to achieve that effect that actually the skeleton is laying down at the bottom of the sea. And this is really cool. The next step, what we need to do here is to dodge and burn the skeleton itself to make, as I already uh, said before, a few parts brighter, a few parts darker. And for that, I will go with curves. I will clip it to affect only skeletons so i will make a few things brighter this is d for dodge and invert the layer mask and I go with another one and make things darker and this is b for burn and invert and that's it now the point is just to use a brush and just paint brighter and darker parts and this can take some time i will not make it perfect here because of the time sake of this tutorial but uh, the point is just to do these kind of things so this part of the uh, everything that is more uh, closer to the water surface will be brighter obviously and everything that is closer to the bottom of the sea will be darker and also this part the right part of the skeleton will be again darker than the left part okay one disclaimer is that this is not my idea to create this um, really cool image I saw this, I was inspired by one uh, cool illustration that I found on Pinterest, so uh, I decided to show you guys how you can create that really, really cool effect that you're seeing here, how to put something underwater, and I really like that the original author, I don't know the name of the original author, but he made a really cool illustration, really cool drawing of this dragon inside the sea. So. I will now fast forward this because this will take a little bit of the time and come back really shortly. Okay, so this is it. This is before dodging and burning. This is after you can see a huge difference. And I really like it. Of course, this can be this can be much better. But now, as I already said, the point here is not to make me to make this perfect. It's uh, point me to explain you what to do and how to practice on your own. Otherwise, I will spend much much more time here tweaking this and go between every single part here and make this darker and this darker and these joints, etc. So, you know, it's time consuming job. But again, I don't want to do this just for time sake of this tutorial. But I could if this is a project for a client or something similar, but I will, I will stop here. 
definitely. Okay, so this is it. Let me show you before everything. So we put it underwater, we change the color, and we add dodging and burning, and we have really, really cool effects. So this is nice. Now we need to make this a little bit more distorted. So, uh, you know, when you're looking through the water, you see things a little bit wavy distorted. And for this, we will use some really cool technique. I will right click and convert the smart object for a moment and to see if I can do this with a smart. I will go and use displacement map and I will use the water surface to displace a little bit the skeleton of the, of the dragon here. And to do that, I will go down here use the water, copy it, create a new document and paste it right there and convert it into black and white by pressing shift control U or shift command U on a Mac. And now I will go and use levels. So levels and make this really contrasty. So everything that is dark will be like uh, holes. Everything that is bright will be like the tops. So everything in between will be like a terrain, you know, like ups and downs. So uh, this looks pretty decent. Mm. Okay, now I will save this file, save as, and I will save it as a PSD file displacement map. Go right here and name this displacement. And that's it. I can close it now. Okay, and I can go back here, back to the dragon. All right. Go to filter, distort, and displace. This is it. And I will leave default values for horizontal and vertical scale. Press OK. And now we need to go to this displacement PSD. Open it. And that's it. You will see this is it. Let's see. Before, this is normal straight lines. After, you can see how it's really cool displaced the arms and everything. I really like that. So this is my prefer preference. I really love it. Also, what I'm missing here is the water caustic that uh, white uh, lines that are going over the top of the objects when the object is in the water. So I will show you that in a moment. This, I mean these things. So I will go all the way up, put it right there. And I need to move this back because I made a mess. Okay, this is, this is water texture, okay. And I will turn this into black and white too. So shift control U or shift command U on the Mac. And I don't want to be smart objects. So rasterize, turn it, control or command L to go to the levels. And again, I will make it contrasty because I will put it in a screen blending mode and everything that is black will vanish. So it will be transparent. Something like that, go to screen blending mode and this is it. Also I will go with control or command U to go with human saturation adjustment layer. It's not adjustment layer, like layer, but it's a setting. So I will go and colorize this because I want these whites to be bluish. So something like, like this is really nice. You can make it more or less saturated. This is cool. And now control or command T, make it smaller. And I will put it somewhere here and make a copy of everything. Put it somewhere here just to cover the body of of the dragon. Okay, and these bones are too small, so I don't need that. So I will group everything together, Control Command E, put it back into screen blending mode. And now I will double click on the layer and go to Blendif. Blendif is an amazing tool. I have a full tut tutorial dedicated on Blendif. So I will not explain here details what a Blendif does. Go check it out on the link right there. But the point is that I want to eliminate everything that is darker here even more. So something like this. I really like it. And also I will lower the opacity of overall effect, put a layer mask and go with really soft brush and just erase, erase here. I'm 10, maybe 30% opacity brush and just erase here things. Okay. Also I can just clip it to affect only the, the dragon. So this is cool. And then we can go with uh, maybe I'm just experimenting now, go with a bigger one and put it something like, like, mm, let's see, maybe, 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 maybe just barely visible before and after even less. I can do it like that. All right. So maybe 15%, 13%. 
just small. Okay, this is really cool. I really like it. So we we are missing few details here. First of all, all these guys are watching at the top, watching at the drone, but we will create something else. They will be watching at the birds. So seagull, we have a seagull file that I took from Envato Elements. I will copy it and paste it over the top of the boat. And uh, I'll just make it smaller, rotate it, something like this, copy, rotate another one, distort a little bit, like this. This one is going down, all right, and another one. I like three of them, so this can be even more down. And now we can blur them because they're a little bit out of the focus, so let's go and blur them i will convert this to smart object to smart object to smart object just the easier blur them and i can manipulate with the blur later if i didn't didn't don't like it straight uh, um, from the first time so this one it's okay let's move it here this one is okay too and let's Let's add the same blur here, but then over the radius. Okay, what we can do, we can add a motion blur too. So filter blur, guys, you can do a lot of things, a lot of things, and I definitely don't want to do everything now. See, like it's really fast, but a little bit less. Something just to show you that you can do that. And I will leave it here. So now we can add even more elements to make this even more interesting i can go with the whales so we have a shark whale here and uh, this shark whale is from envato elements let me show really quickly it's from here where it is this is it and it's really really cool we can go and view 360 degree we need to wait a few moments uh, for envato to render it and then we can rotate it however we want so this is it and you can use any orientation that you need. So this is amazing. This is why I love this 3D and this is pretty realistic. And I, I'm using top view, so I just downloaded as PS, P, uh, PNG and this is it. And I will flip it horizontally, put it there, make it a little bit bigger because they can be really, really big, these whale sharks. And put it below the boat. So, oops, where is it? Below the boat but above the dragon, so somewhere here. And I will do the same procedure to make this underwater. So let's let's first group all of these, name it birds. Mm. Okay, this is a shark and uh, I will go inside here, use this same texture, clip it to affect only the shark, use the hue and saturation adjustment layer, clip it to affect only the shark, and now let's play with this. So first, let's change the color. Okay, make it brighter. Like this. And also I will go and use curves adjustment layer, make a few parts brighter. This will be really fast because definitely I don't want to waste your time doing this slowly, but you got a point, so as I already said, everything that is closer to the water surface will be more brighter and everything else will be darker, but this looks pretty, pretty decent. Maybe, maybe a little bit darker one too, so for, for these parts right there, just like a little bit like that. So let's see what we did. Uh, this is before, uh, this is before, yeah much better so I will leave it like that and also I will go and take another file and this is the island right there I will rotate it make it bigger and I will just use this part here mm, let's see rotate it even more just a little bit of the island I can leave it here also right click and rasterize and I don't want this thing here, so shift backspace. And now I'll put a layer mask and use a brush, 100% opacity, and I'm just painting back slowly the island there. I love it. And also 10% opacity, and I will bring back 
these parts to blend it a little bit better. So everything is about blending to look nice. Okay, so we have this just as a decoration, just as a part of the story here. Okay, and this is basically, this is basically. Now, what I like to do is to play a little bit more with the boat. So, I will use this photo. So, again, we, the guys in the boat, and I will place it inside the boat here, but below the boat. All right, so the point here is that I want to add this trail from the boat in this photo, and we can do it like this. That's perfect. And what we can do, we can put it in a screen blending mode and also add a layer mask. But before that, we can go with levels, clip it effect only that and just so the levels are one thing, one way to go. The other way is let's delete levels and double click on that. And again, blend if so double click, go with the blend if and as you can see, this looks cool. This looks cool. So we can, we can control this even more. Okay, and then I can go with layer mask and erase everything that I don't want to be visible here. So this is one way to spice the photo, but I will transform it, put the rotation point here and I will go maybe with just this part. I'll fix this, don't worry guys, so. Mm -hmm. Like that, I will erase the boat. I don't need it at all. Okay, and let's fix this blend if part. So double click on this and move it right there, let's see. Okay, so mm, this looks cool. I will again, I can delete everything actually. I can delete everything from here and maybe just leave a few things here and there and make impression that the boat is actually coming from, no, coming from that direction right there. So this is cool too. If I miss something, that's because I'm usually making some breaks and um, now I'm watching this all the time and maybe I can miss something. So I will create a new layer and I will call it waves and with my custom made small cloud dust brush, I will emphasize a little bit this. So maybe 40% opacity and just add a little bit more, more details here because I deleted, but here especially I want to add it. Okay, this is much better. So I would leave it like that. Uh, let's rotate it a little bit more back. But this is pretty cool, you got a point, guys. So, whoops, don't go up, come back down. Now I see that the, what is this? This is the island that can be back in the background folder. So all the way down, yeah, perfect. Uh, where is the dragon? I can see that this water caustic, uh, it's a little bit too visible. So something like this should be maybe better. We need to spend a lot more time tweaking this, but for now, this is really nice. Also, what I like to do with the background, I will create a new layer, go with the gradient tool and just add one gradient here, put it into overlay, soft light, overlay, soft light. Let's go with the soft light like that and create another one and put it from the top like this and go into the soft light blending mode. So um, I can put this one here. Okay, this is better. So maybe we can make the dragon a little bit more brighter on the left part because of the light, but I don't want to do this now. I don't want to do this now of the time sake of this tutorial so let's see oops i want to brush bigger 
and soft brush and this is what I meant so I meant this part a little bit this is sloppy job that I'm doing right now guys you know that I know that but don't tell anybody see how we made this too flat see because of the, these black parts that we just mm, make brighter so let's fix this a little bit but okay i will leave it like that i will leave it like that definitely there are a lot of things that we can tweak here check out my instagram profile and see my final version of this file but the point is that we did a lot of things here really cool things so let's see if we can add something more um, no we we added yeah there are some things that i want to add so i want to add these two files so first this one and let's add it at the top of everything so here uh, boat and dragon this is whale okay let's group it and i will add this one right there in between and this one is cool because again i will put it in the screen blending mode and you can guess i will use I will use blend if so double tap double click i'm tapping with the pen so i say double tap all the way like this maybe even more and i love these little waves here so i will put a few of them right there and make a copy of them and put some of them maybe right here why not just add a little bit more details here and there i can lower the opacity of this but also i can go and play with the blend if a little bit more see i can add even more of that which doesn't look bad actually mm. it doesn't look bad so for now let's leave it like that and also we can add this one and again go with actually let me show you. These are no. These are uh, highlights. Highlights. I will right-click, convert, rasterize it. Shift Control U or Shift Command U on a Mac. Put in a screen blending mode. Double-click. Go with the blend if. Just the reflections. So we can make a lot of things here, but. I don't want to make this too up too bright or whatever. Maybe lower the opacity, but also I will go in the blend if and go like that and lower the opacity a little bit. And these are just details, guys. I'm showing you that you can add reflections on the water like that without any issues. So this is it for now. This is it. I will close everything. So this is these are the water details let's call it like that let's call it like that and we have all the clean things here this is what i like i can group everything together shift control e or shift command option e on a mac or shift control alt e on a pc convert to smart object go to filter go to camera uh, filter and here i will do a final color grading okay so here what we could blur this uh, whale shark and add even more water caustics and put it even more deeper in the water but for now also add shadow etc but for now i will leave it like that so maybe add a little bit more contrast a little bit more clarity also i like to add a touch of this and vignetting a little bit and uh, this is basically it i will not tweak this too much because i like it how it is uh, we can sharpen it a little bit let's see oops i went to down so this is cool and this is before this is after you can see it's not a huge difference just a little bit more contrast and etc i love the color so i will not tweak that and i will stop here because Definitely, we can tweak this a lot, but uh, you got a point how to create this, how to submerge something underwater and to create this effect that it's actually underwater. What we can do with 
Let me just show you really quickly with the whale. If we lower the opacity a little bit. Mm, no, we need to make it brighter and to add a little bit more acoustics, but you can do that for your own practice. But I really like it how this uh, came up at the end. I will do a little bit more tweaking and put a final version on Instagram. And uh, if you want, you can check out there a little bit. Uh, maybe I'll do a little bit more color grading or whatever, maybe tweak a few elements here and there, but you can check it out there. Also guys, if you want to learn how to create uh, photo manipulation all the way from start to finish, all the way from the process of thinking, uh, how to find inspiration, how to make sketches and everything, all the details, how to combine everything together into a realistic final product, you can check out my course Photo Manipulation Essentials on the link down there and uh, learn how to create amazing photo manipulations on your own. Right guys, so that would be it. In case you have any kind of questions regarding to this episode, please leave me the comments down there in the comment section below. I will be glad to answer you. Also check out the Envato Elements. It's amazing uh, website where you're get li getting licensed uh, files. You don't need to worry about the license for them. And also you're getting unlimited downloads. You saw amazing things that you can find there. Check out the link down there in the description and practice, experiment, have fun and see you in my next fun episode. Bye bye.